My name is Disha Rathore from Brainovision Solution, India Private Limited. Today in this video, I would like to tell about MIT App Inventor, which is used for app development. Before going to its website, I would like to give a small introduction about it. So, MIT App Inventor is an intuitive visual programming environment that allows everyone, every student to build fully functional apps for smartphone and tablet. To make it simple, to make app development easier, MIT provides us with the MIT App Inventor. This is a platform that makes app development easy for everyone who knows to code or not. So some of the advantage of this MIT App Inventor are its usability and simplicity. It's good for introduction to Android. Designing and implementing apps are easy. It supports program development. It is also easy to test and it also consists of some good tutorials. So now let's go into the MIT App Inventor website and let's see how does it works. Uh, open the Google browser and just type MIT App Inventor. So you can see the first link, just click on it. So this is the web page of the MIT App Inventor. So to develop an app, you just need to click on this create apps. After clicking on create apps, you need to sign in with your Gmail account. Here we go. Click on continue. Close. Yes. Uh, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a simple drawing app. So for that, you need to click on the start new project. As I am going to do simple drawing app. My project name will be drawing app see that there is no space between the words click on ok now click over here as you can see this is the workspace where you can create an app in the left side you can see user interface such as button checkbox images notify and so on on the right side, you can see properties where you can change the height with the name of the app and so on. Coming to the components, whatever components you update in the screen, you can find in this uh, component block. So now as I'm doing a simple drawing app, uh, I will go and select drawing and animation. So I will select this canvas as canvas is the space where you can draw an app just click drag and drop onto the screen as you can see this canvas size is so small you need to change its height and width you need to go to properties select height and click on fill parent and ok you can see that the height of the canvas has changed do the same with the width to change its width click on fill parent and click on ok as you can see the canvas has covered the whole screen and now click on the sensor and just drag and drop this accelerometer sensor and now what you need to do is go to blocks uh, so in this blocks here we need to provide a program so here the user can interact with the application so now what you need to do is click on the canvas which you have selected uh, now click on the when canvas one dot drag just drag and drop over here and now you can find a uh, start x start y previous x previous y current x current y coordinates and coming to this start x start y coordinates it is used to note the starting point of the line so when the user touches the screen so it notes the point of that now coming to the previous x and y coordinates as the user draws a line this x y coordinate will note that point and the end point will be noted by the current x y coordinates so now what you will do is again click on canvas and you will be selecting 
call canvas one dot draw line just drag and drop in it and where you can see x1 y1 x2 y2 coordinates now what you need to do is select variable and just select this get function and just put it over here and label this as previous x instead of again drag and drop you can just duplicate it and just put it over here and label it as previous y again duplicate it and just put it over here and label it as current x and again duplicate it again put it over here and label it as current y and now you can see the major part of the drawing app is completed and now let's see the output for this program to execute this code you need to click on connect select ai companion and now you can see there's a qr code and a word code and uh, now what you need to do is uh, install mit app inventor in your mobile and you can see it will look like this just select on scan qr code and just scan the code and here it's loading so i guess it's completed so now you can see the canvas on your mobile screen and where you can draw i hope you all can see it clearly where i can draw anything on my canvas now the next step i need to do is clear this canvas so to clear the canvas i need to again build a new code so let's see how to do it uh, now you need to provide the code where you can clear the canvas you can do that by putting a button in it but here i'm using accelerometer sensor so where by shaking your phone you can just clear the canvas so select accelerometer sensor and select when accelerometer sensor one dot shaking select this one just drag and drop over here and now select canvas and select call canvas one dot clear just drag and drop and put it over here so now let's see the result for this code as you all can see the canvas screen so this is the drawing and just by shaking the phone i can just clear the canvas see i'm just drawing and just by shaking the phone i can just clear my whole drawing i hope it's seen clearly that's it about the simple drawing app i hope it's clear and you all understood so in this not only drawing apps you can build many more application for your android as with the help of this tutorial you can build many more other applications so that's all for this video thank you and have a good day